I've just flashed it. I've already been using it for a week now, but I just uh, installed the update, which was the last one called uh, something point nine. It was called. So um, I will explain like each like negative and positive thing about about each ROM. So as you can see, this is the ROM. It looks really smooth and nice, and this is just the the stock launcher that comes with it. Well, it, it gives a really um, nice Xperia Z look. I find it's got like the taskbar, and you can you can change all these. You can change extra things in the settings and all that. And in the settings, we have uh, wait for it. It's never loaded the settings here. It's got Trinity Control Alpha. So if you flash it with the Trinity kernel, you can overclock it to 1.7 gigahertz which is pretty nice to see so you got the OTA update, you got the tweak enabler you got all these nice, well it's not too much like uh, the other ROMs but it's just, just enough to keep you satisfied for daily use of the ROM um, I will, the positive things I found about this ROM is that yeah, the overclocking uh, feature is really nice, I haven't seen it much on Xperia S ROMs yet or haven't found good kernels that support it well or and keep it stable. Um the yeah the the other positive thing is the the when you flash the phone it comes with such a huge choice of things to have before you actually have the ROM installed. Like I haven't even uh, done anything yet and it's already got the, the gaps on it, it's already got Google Chrome, it's already got Facebook on it, YouTube Google Plus, it's got everything you already need before you start. You can even, it's got Skype already on it, uh, so these are, this is really like easy for the users to get used to it straight away. Um, there are many users that use this ROM, so the more users that use a ROM, the better the stats will be, and the more the developers can work on them because they can then see what the bugs are. And this is really stable, I would say. That's another good thing. Um, the another good thing is uh, it's got great service so that means that you've got an OTA update option which means that whenever there are bugs or new features that uh, the developer wants us to have um, he will just put them in the OTA update and you can just flash the updates and yeah get started again so this is always good to see on ROMs if, if you got a uh, good feedback from the developer um, the only negative, well I wouldn't say it's negative but the battery is just like average I would say it will be like around the same as the stock ROM maybe a bit less because when you have it you usually put it on 1.7 gigahertz and whenever you overclock it of course uses less battery so maybe it's better to keep it on 1.5 or 1.6 gigahertz I'm just saying it's up to you so yeah this is a uh, um, yeah, my opinion about the Trinity Vengeance ROM, you should go and try it, um, the links will be in the description.